Hey guys, I hope you liked that intro segment. It's the first time you're at this channel. This channel is about filmmaking and photography. And on this video, we're going to be talking about my experience doing milk photography. Now, this is the behind the scenes footage of this uh, using my GoPro. And I'm showing you how I did everything. Uh, we're just in a hotel here. And in this photo, this is the beginning before we added any milk or anything at all. This is a lovely model here, and this is for her birthday. So she's trying to make the most out of this. Uh, we slowly added milk to the whole process. I looked up, um, it doesn't matter what type of milk, you know, lactate milk, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, powdered milk, what, whatever the case may be. But we had about four gallons worth and we slowly added it throughout this whole process. You start off with really warm water to make sure the model's not freezing. And keep in mind when you add this milk in, it's cold, so it's gonna make the, the water go a little bit more cooler. Um, essentially, I just made the model try to relax try to make things look very seductive try to get low because the whole point of doing the milk bath photography is to get more of that white creamy look use the water to its advantage it is okay so as if someone <laughs> during this time the model you know at times to reassure she's looking good things are looking good feel comfortable um, reassure the model to make sure everything is going well. This is not like a paid model that's like do modeling full time or anything like that. Um, this is just a regular person that hey wants some photos done. So reassuring them, making sure that they feel comfortable. And honestly, she does really good. I don't know if she doesn't know if she knows what knows that but she does a really good job i've worked with many people that just don't feel as comfortable in front of the cameras um most of the shots in the beginning i mostly just tried to get shots closer to the water without getting the camera submerged or dipped in the milk and the water at all of course you don't want that and i just came up with the idea and said let me just go and try and go on top and this really turned out really cool uh, I've seen other people do top-down shots, overhead shots, but I didn't think it was going to really work out because I didn't have much space. And as you can see, I just stood on the edge and this really looked cool. Having the reflection at the top right really worked out. And this whole photo shoot was about three hours long, so we had time to do a variety of different stuff. Again, this is just in a hotel and i said hey let me just take out the 100 millimeter and see if i can get a very long shot and these aren't my like top 10 photos these really turned out really well i didn't know what to really expect but because it's so compressed you can't really tell where or what's going on all my other shots were pretty wide but it makes the model look very flattering and it turned out really well. My only critique about this is I'm not too sure of what I could do with her foot. I was trying to get something going with that, but eh, it turned out pretty cool. It wasn't too bad. Uh, I also tried to use different things in the foreground. Um, in the next photo, I think I believe I tried to use the sheet and use that to try and augment something, you know, try to get a little flair or some, something different in the whole thing. But um, I think it went up. It's okay. Not the best. But around this time is when I already exhausted all the ideas that I had. I already did all the keepers, all the stuff I wanted to really knock out, and I'm just experimenting. Nothing wrong with experimenting, for sure. Especially during this time, this is the first time I did milk photography, and it was always great to experiment. You never know what's gonna pop out. And I really could say I got a lot of good photos out of this whole session. Uh, I'm using a Yongnuo 
wand light. I don't know if you know what it's really called. I'm sorry. But um, you could change this light. It's an RGB light, very cheap light. And I use that to accent her eyes. And so it can bounce onto the milk or the water to make it a little brighter because I found that it was a tad bit dark. I have my light in the left side with a soft box on it or octagon, whichever you want to call it, a diffuser. And it's technically on the model's right side, so it's not really facing her. So I needed a light to go and do a catch light in her eyes, which you could see here, and brighten her up. Um, and I think it worked out perfectly. So this is around the end. If you like the content, like, subscribe to see more. And I hope to see you guys soon. More stuff to come.